Hello again. This week, I have been thinking about the shoulds in our lives, right? The sh who we should be, who we ought to be. Um, and Carissa Thacker, who wrote the book, The Art of Authenticity, um, introduces the idea of kind of that we have three selves. There's the ought self, um, who we're supposed to be, usually related to other people. There is the real self, who we are in the moment, and then this ideal self of who we wish we were or we strive to be and all of that. But this week I've been I've been thinking about the the ought self or the should self and in relation to other people. And I'm thinking, you know, who I think I should be or who we think we should be is often defined by our relationships or our roles. So whether that's daughter or mother or friend or lover or supervisor or assistant or factory worker or salesperson or beautician or whatever, whatever the role is, right, that we take on in the day, we adopt with that role a bunch of shoulds. And there's kind of a box, right, that we're supposed to fit in. We're supposed to stay in this box and we're supposed to be this thing um, as defined by this role. And again, that role is often a relational role, often has to do with the expectations of other people, or even in some ways, I think, the expectations we think that other people have of us based on that role, true or not true, right? But but in any event, you know, I think I'm supposed to be this way because I am, you know, an executive in a corporation and therefore that requires of me a bunch of things, professionalism and a way I'm supposed to speak and what I'm supposed to wear and how I'm supposed to carry myself. And so we can, given the multitude of roles that we have, we can kind of find ourselves in this space where What's the role of self? What's the role of me? What's the role of Sharon? Not in relation to anyone else, but in relation to myself. So, so if, if the box is self, who am I supposed to show up to be for me? Fascinating question. And for me, I am in the process of making some changes and some rather significant ones. And it's got me thinking about that. And it's got me thinking about how those changes that I'm making feel to me that in this moment, I am stepping into a more authentic self, a role better defined by me and in relation to me and with the expectations as defined by me, which is a new thing for me. And I mean, it's it was a very strange thing. So the reason that this is in my head is, you know, I have these kind of exciting changes going on and I was sharing them with a friend just via text um, saying how, you know, when you make changes, they're both terrifying and exciting and there's all kinds of stuff. And I was saying how I think I am sort of stepping into, I said to her, my own skin, right? That I feel like I'm at least making a move towards what that would be like for me to kind of own my place in the world as as defined by me. And I don't mean that in a selfish way, I mean it in a, a self-full way, that I'm full of defining who I am and how I live this world. And she texted back to me, savor this feeling, remember this feeling. And it brought tears to my eyes and I thought, wow, how rarely do we do that? How rarely? Do we step into a moment and own it? Not because someone says we should, not because I'm defined by someone else, not because there's some outside expectation of me, but because this feels true and real and me. And I don't know about you, but I don't have a lot of those moments. And so I was thrilled, and thank you, Karen. I was thrilled in that moment to get that text from her because it made me realize I needed to stop and acknowledge that I was taking this step toward a better, more grounded me. So I wanted to share that above all else, but I think the ultimate point I hope maybe for this week for you However small those moments are, they don't have to be life-changing. They don't have to be transformative. They don't have to be anything. But maybe day-to-day -day, in a given moment where you have a choice between acting out of obligation to a role 
that is in some ways in conflict with acting out of your real authentic self and you feel safe to choose the authenticity, you feel safe to choose the real, the you, the role of self, savor that moment. Just take a couple of breaths and say, in this moment, I am me. I am me and the role of me is more important in this moment than an ought or a should, whether that's fantasy or reality ought or should. I know myself, and in this moment, I am choosing to be that person. That's what I wish for you. So I hope you have a multitude of those moments this week, but even if you only have one, or you think about having one, acknowledge it, honor it, savor it, remember it, because the authentic you is the only you we need, right? That's the one that needs to show up, not the one that's supposed to be something for someone else that's inauthentic, not the one that we pretend to be so that others will like us or, or will fit in. Or No, no, the you that is you, that you're choosing to honor yourself in those moments, that's what I wish for you. And I wish that you breathe those in and savor those moments. So be yourself every minute if you can which is impossible so be yourself whenever you can and honor those moments that's what i wish for you this week so good luck be safe out there and wash your hands don't touch your face stay well